What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's KB and we locked in. Now let's jump into it. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Island Boys, the ridiculous rise to prominence over the last 12 months, and how it all came crumbling down quicker than it went up. The Island Boys are a two-man group, one man named Fly Soldier and the other named Kodiak Red. These two dust bunnies have had an extraordinary rise in popularity over the last 12 months. The two also have a combined 3 million followers on Instagram and around 8 million combined followers on TikTok with over 1.7 billion views on TikTok to go along with it. Like I said, all in under 12 months, these guys made a certified come up on the internet, dropping songs, music videos, and appearing on some of the biggest podcasts in the world and entertaining the internet continuously with their SoundCloud era fashion and borderline mentally handicapped antics. Behind the scenes though, things started to fall apart for these two, and after less than a year in the spotlight, it officially looks like these two have seen their 15 minutes of fame come and go, as almost all interest in their escapades have vanished, and these two island boys seem to be done working with each other for good. So let's take a look at how it all started and how it's all ending. The Island Boys officially popped up into various internet algorithms after posting a quick video to TikTok in October of 2021. In the short video, the two dropped an intensely thought-provoking freestyle where they talked about the island they are from. Cause I'm an island boy and I've been trying to make Oh, I'm an island boy. Hey, I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. Ooh. I'm a get key white going. You gonna keep that gun? Uh. I be just staring at the sun. I'm just out full gazing. I'm like, well, pull where I'm staying. They're like, you wanna be famous? I'm trying to be out the greatest. I'm a float oh boy. It got real damn tropic. I'm like, the damn, I'm the topic. Uh -huh. I'm an island boy. I put my vest on, yeah. Like a wild guan man trying to make it to the top. I'm an island boy. I've been trying to make it. I ain't seen it with the gang gang swing. You ain't just swing no kind. And through the storm, through the rain. Cause we try home like a lion. From the island boy. From the Caribbean. Que yo soy Cuba, y'all. I'm an island boy. Put my vest on, y'all. Yeah. I assume this clip blew up because other people just love that somebody finally made a song about the best island in the world, Florida. Yo. These two bacterial life forms are from Florida, and while you might not have enjoyed the melody of the thought-provoking lyrics in that video, they figured out how to really connect with people when they dropped an even more efficient Spanish version of this track, where they really displayed their multilingual abilities. Tú quieres mi pinga, tu culo, ese tú quieres conmigo. Oye, yo tiene la papeles de enero, sí. que mira que tú estás en la no mierda. Mi teléfono que tiene las niñas, que tiene o tiene prisosa. Uh, mira tú sos de linda, que mira las cosas que tiene. La vida, la vida, la vida. Tú. El dinero yo tiene, yo tengo. Tú quieres mi pinga, tu culo, es de tú quieres conmigo. Oh, mira que tiene la cosa, que tiene yo estar la no cubano, sí, está cubano. la no español. Now, if you have a problem distinguishing these two apart, I'll make it easy. Kodiak Red is the one with the big ass bird tattoo on his forehead, and Fly Soldier is the one who has a number 17 where his unibrow goes. It was their fantastic vocal tracks mixed with the face tats and coral reef haircuts that made it so appealing for people to watch. It didn't take long for others to start showing their appreciation for these two creative geniuses by making their own versions of the Island Boy video. Cause I'm an island boy. Just trying to make it. Cause I'm an island boy. I'ma keep it like an island boy. I'ma keep it like an island boy. I'm an island boy, and I've been trying to make it. Oh, I'm an island boy. This freestyle in the pool is what took the island boys from zero to 100. And being that they have some of the highest IQs on earth, they noticed the traction and they didn't let the opportunity slide past their unwavering eyes. They capitalized by spending every waking moment on social media, creating viral clips and interacting with their viewers. You not from the streets. So I'm like looking at your profile and your profile picture. You're like, I don't know, like middle age, 40, whatever. <coughs> And you like, you watching 20 year olds be successful. Number one, we came from nothing. We went, came from a lot of pain. Daddy died at a young age. 
um, and we had it hard growing up. Um, just basically what I'm just trying to say is, um, who are you to judge me and my brother? You don't know nothing about us. How you know that we're not from the streets? How you where'd know? You, where'd you come up with that? You knew me my whole life? You knew him your You know life? our whole biography? Get out of here, bro. They got like five songs, relax. Um, no, actually I got a lot more than five songs. Just relax, bro. Don't be so mad in my comments. You're still watching me. Come on, man. Island Boys for life. We up. Yeah, I'm sad. Number one, we're twins. So we could be in the same bed, but we, we don't- really came out the same way. But we don't even sleep in the same bed. We were just chilling at the time, you feel me? Yeah, why can't twin brothers the same blood? Literally, me just two minutes older being in the same bed as my br brother. That's what I'm saying. The one thing these two had going for them can be summed up in one word, memeability. Is that a real word? Nah, but it best describes these two individuals. Memeability can be best described like memorability. Memorability meaning that something is easy to remember and memeability means something so dumb you can't forget it and I think that defines the island boys with 100% accuracy. Why poking fun at these two is easy, and everybody who sees them does it. Behind the scenes, the narrative was nowhere near as funny as these two guys look. And with a little deep diving, I discovered that not only is this a tale of triumph, but also a tale of tragedy. Fly Soldier and Kodiak Red are twins, if you haven't noticed, and they both came out of Florida. More specifically, they grew up in Wellington, right beside West Palm Beach. They were born in 2001, and they are truly products of their environment. Their roots started in Florida after their parents immigrated there from Cuba. While the twins were still young, around five or six years old, their dad passed away from a heart attack. I'm assuming after he seen what these two guys look like. After this, the two said they began to spin out of control and that their mom couldn't do anything about it. Because of this lack of parental control, the two would find themselves in trouble of all sorts throughout their life. Apparently, not having a father figure around creates criminals according to these two. Well, well, my, my, my dad died at like an early age, like um, uh, from a heart attack. Okay. So we didn't have a dad growing up, like he died around five, six. You know, she it's just normal single mom stuff. She like, she struggled a lot but she tried to make us have like a, 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 a good life. Like she loved us and stuff like that. My mom, you know, mom's a Cuban lady. If you don't know how Spanish, uh, Spanish uh, moms are, they're very loving. They're tough, but right. the love is real. So what's it called? Like, you know, um, just, just coming up with no guidance, like no dad and stuff like that. It's kind of like, you know, you kind of need a dad growing up because you know, rules and, and stuff like that. We didn't follow no rules. We wasn't, we wasn't listening to nobody. We didn't, we didn't have a father figure growing up, so we was out here wilding and stuff like that. Once we jumped, like we jumped we out of the porch. was on our own type thing. Like, yeah, our mom, she made sure that we had a roof, everything, like what's required, but you feel me? Like, even uh, the, po the police know, like police back in our city, they knew that, that our mom couldn't control us. Like nobody yeah, could we were out of control. She, was yeah. a good, she, was, she did everything she could, yeah. but we was out of control. We just, we thought we could do whatever we want. And we got away with it, because when you're a little kid, you know, it's like, it's like slapping the wrist when you get in, in, the, in the system, you know? Their rap sheet included burglary, larceny, resisting arrest, assault and battery, and even Grand Theft Auto. This led to them being locked up at around the age of 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 years old. After being released, they decided it was time to change lanes in life. Not wanting to be involved in the streets anymore and with no actual real life skills, they decided the best opportunity in life they could get would come in the form of rap music. Their first order of business was to look like a rapper. Since they were in juvenile hall from basically 2015 to 2019, they missed most of the SoundCloud rap era. And while they haven't confirmed this next detail, and I'm only speculating, I think that when they got out, they typed in cool rappers on Google and got a list of SoundCloud rappers and then just mirrored those people, not realizing that they were about three years out of date. Either way, they tatted their whole bodies up, including their faces, put some aluminum foil in their mouth, and made an Instagram account. It was here that they would take the first steps to becoming rappers by trolling people on Instagram. I know you thought the first step in being a rapper was rapping, but you was wrong. Trolling is the key to success, and eventually the twins would branch out, creating another social media account on TikTok where they would continue their trolling for the next couple of months. It was here that they also would post the infamous Island Boy video that went on to rack them up millions of views. They eventually did come together to record a music video for their Island Boys concept track, 
that they recorded in that pool and they put the video out. One look over at the comment section shows how thankful people are for the Island Boys with comments like this one that says, The Island Boys saved my life. At the weight of 593 pounds, I was awakened every morning to one of their songs playing downstairs. I would use all my strength and power to turn it off. Soon, it became a cardio thing. People in my family played the song all through the house and I would never fail to turn it off. I've lost 300 pounds since then until this day. I thank them for saving my life. Or this one that says, thank you Island Boys. I was so insecure about my hair, but after seeing Nerf darts as your hair, I feel so much better. Then there were more insidious comments that really made it apparent that people were laughing at and not with the Island Boys. Like this one that Vladimir Putin left in the comment section. He says, you are so brave. Don't give up. Whatever disease you have, you can beat it. And this one, thank you Island Boys. My grandpa is a farmer and he bought two scarecrows that look exactly like you and we've never seen any sign of life on the field since. Despite all of the negative feedback, the Island Boys were getting more and more popular by the minute. They even got booked to be on some of the biggest podcasts YouTube has to offer, like No Jumper with Adam22 and Impulsive with Logan Paul. They even got the great honor of having Kevin Hart and Snoop Dogg react to their viral clip. I'm an island boy and I've been trying to make Oh, I'm an island boy. Hey, I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. I'm a get cute white boy. You're gonna keep that gun. I'll be just staring at the sun. I'm just a full gazing. I'm like, pool, where I'm staying. I'm an island boy. I put my vest on, yeah. Like a wild grown man trying to make it to the top. I'm an island boy. I've been trying to make it. Hey, seen it with the gang, gang slang. You ain't gang, gang. Slang, they ain't got gang. to use that word. I'm speechless. Two goofballs in the pool. You know why I'm not speechless? Why? Because I'm an island. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an island boy. <laughs> I'm an island boy. What is happening? I don't know and I... ain't trying to understand it. Damn it. What's understood don't need to be explained. And David I don't does. want to understand it. It does need to be explained. What? How I became an island boy <laughs> on, on and Knock it off, man. They also continue to release music and music videos. With the official music video for their song, Island Boy, racking up close to 20 million views. Other videos of theirs are still doing millions of views as well. They even got an offer from Kodak Black to sign to his record label. I saw the new music video. It says Kodiak Red. Which mm -hmm. I, where does that come from? Is that like a version of Kodak? Uh, yeah, he said I'm like the other version of Kodak, just two, you know, two different skin colors, and, and he's like, called me twin and stuff like that, and this and that. He, he, he just, he asked to link up with me, not my brother, which I find weird, because, you know, kind of come in a package with twins. Because they got the same tattoo in the middle of the forehead. Yeah. He right. Be, he, he, he been knew who uh, Red was. He been watching him. Yeah, he said he been, he been watching me since I had curly hair, so hey, that's been a long time. He said he f***ed him. I don't know. Wow, but so when he reached out, he just reached out to you, and how did he go about reaching he knows, out? He knows who my brother is, but he was, uh, it was like, what, like last week, he was watching my story, and then I saw him. He liked like a, a, a thriller, like a, a video of me posting my music like three months ago, uh -huh. and then what's it called, and then he put in the comments, little bro, and then what's it called, then last week he had hit me up in the DM saying, hey, um, what's up, and I said, what's up, back to him, and then he said, give me your number, and then he called me like three hours later, and then he... I'm like, who's this? And then he put me on, he, then he tried to FaceTime me. And then when uh, he goes, I'm trying to link. He goes, he goes like, where I got to fly you out or something like that? Nah, I'm, but Kodak's funny though. He's, he's um, like when he was on FaceTime, when he was trying to like, be like, you're going to be my other twin. Yeah, to, like, to him, got, yeah. I'm like, he got, he got a twin already. So. <laughs> what are you trying yeah. to do, you feel me? Yeah, so like, so he said, he said, do I got to fly you out or something like that? I said, uh, I'm in Palm Beach right now. He goes like, oh, you could drive. He goes like, do I get your Uber or anything? I'm like, nah, I'll, I'll come. So he, I pulled up, I pulled up to his hood in Pompano, and then what's it called? And then um, it went from there. And then what's it called? Then he ch he had changed my name and stuff like that, talking about he uh, initiated. But we haven't talked. We have, we talked like a couple times in the in the messages, but I don't know what's going on. You down to sign to him? Um, if the paperwork is right, he said he wanted to sign me like ten times. Like I'm a John, I'm a John Hancock. Yeah. This I'm well, put he, a signature on it. It seemed like opportunity was falling in these guys' laps at every corner. 
And while it seemed like they were capitalizing the best they could, it really didn't take long for the cracks to start appearing, not only in their personal life, but also in their careers. Although the two were experiencing a massive amount of success with their viral videos, there were problems surrounding these guys from the beginning. After spending all of their time in juvenile, the two were released and immediately went back to getting in trouble. After being arrested again, the twins' mom kicked them out of her house, leaving the two homeless. They would move in with some friends, one of who was named Ethan, but were also kicked out of that place only two days after being there because they stole an Xbox and some checks from one of the guys that lived there. The guys they were staying with reached out to the police. They told them what happened and gave them a description of the two. One investigator said he knew exactly who they were looking for as he arrested one of the twins in the past for robbing an old lady. The investigators went on social media to look for clues and were able to locate an image on Instagram where one of the twins posed with some cash with a checkbook on top of the stack. On the checkbook, the names and address were whited out of the check, but one of the first names was still visible and the name on the check was Ethan. The twins were arrested and charged with identity theft. But this was only the start of the cracks that were forming in their lives. Once kicked out of that place, they would end up linking up with a guy named Chico who is affiliated with the blood. Chico was with these guys in the trenches and while he didn't make them famous, he did orchestrate their image. The Island Boys even started false repping a blood set called SMM because of their new affiliation to Chico. You guys, I guess, in the past have like claimed to be gang members and stuff. Uh, but even before that, yeah, was, was yeah, but it's got it. something to do with like, yeah, we did some dirt in our city and stuff like that. But like, it's like it's not to everyone. But like, get over it. Like everyone knows each other and stuff like that. But yeah, we did some dirt and stuff like that. But but were you going around saying you were gang members before you were formally like actually? accepted by the gang are there people who feel uh, like you were false claiming what they're a part of um what's it called uh a lot of a lot of people think that what's it called that we we false claim but a lot of a lot of bloods always f with us and stuff like that i never really cared about like about game banging and stuff like that you understand i never care about game banging yeah except yeah. for when i started getting when i started becoming a rapper i had a lot of bloods hit me up yeah we and said hey look you're hey look we want to initiate we want to uh, like uh, uh, put, uh, uh put you a part of put us. you a part of so i'm gonna teach you the knowledge right but uh uh but you're like how do I explain you we're not we, we we're not beating you up mm. you feel me but I, I'm I'm gonna let you know everything to to know like if you were a blood you feel me so I'm like okay so what that make me he's like oh you blood you this you that you tell me this that's your tag you feel me I'm like, okay and then I was like all right whatever you feel me because I already you know I got blood tattoos so I'm like thinking like what do I gotta be a blood mm. you feel me because if I make it I don't want people to be like yo why why you got all this stuff and you feel me by the so, way blood tattoos is just having a five point crown is um like if you had a three-point like this is, blood, this is blood related yeah. stars all over me it's but blood really related. really they could just mean as a star like I, you feel me but if someone if they if a gang member thinks you look like a thug you feel me like you're someone like a thug they're gonna be like so what is that? You tell them, you're like, nah, that's not what it is. Are you really a blood? You feel me? So yeah, you, you kind of have to watch out what you tattoo. But it sounds like you're kind of like halfway in where like you acknowledge it's a gang tattoo, but then you also don't really want to have to answer yeah, but, for it. No, but he didn't get a, he didn't get a tattoo because uh, it's supposed to be a blood tattoo. I didn't get a tattoo because I wanted to be a blood. Mm -hmm. You got, feel me? He got but, he got stars on on his he got stars on his face because stars is like a big five point. You know what I mean? Look, he got because he got, likes look, stars. I got a star on my nose. I got stars everywhere. Just. I got a star on my nose because I know I'm a star. You feel me? It's just like little things like that, why I got tattoos and stuff like that. Chico moved him into his house when they was homeless. And according to the twins, everything was good up until the money started coming into the picture. Okay, here's something I wanted to ask about. There was a, a whole viral thing because you had this guy, Chico, who seemed to be like kidnapping one of you guys or both of you guys in a he video what he, was going on with that? he didn't kidnap me he he was he he like tricked me and then he tried to he, he well he did set me up he's like he set me up um into like going to a barber shop full of uh full of bloods trying to get me uh jump because he said the bloods were um Man. they were they were they were they were threatening him i don't know if they were really bloods they were just a bunch of grown men like like 12 deep in the barber shop were you sign were you basically like having him manage no, you at no. some point i mean what's it called it was he not like no man look <clears throat> we was gonna be homeless if if if, if we didn't be with him you had, look he was he was getting money from the from from the government and we, that's how we were paying the rent we, you feel me with my baby mom at the time my baby mom said i can't do this anymore i'm pregnant with, with your baby so i'm gonna fix my life just fix your life and we can come back uh -huh. you feel me so we moved all so over to we, north carolina he, he hit us up way before uh while we was doing the internet live and the ten thousand and, and, and rapping yeah. he said he'd been saying like hey listen i f 
with y'all boys. Uh, I got y'all. Like, you feel me? Whatever uh, type of thing. You feel me? So we're, we 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 kind of we're like, hey, yo, we need we need somewhere to stay. You feel me? He's like, okay, come over here. That's when he's like, I could get you a job because at the time we weren't making money on rap. Right. You feel me? So uh, I could get you a job, and um, we're like, all right, bet that sounds like a plan. So we went up there with nothing really, and uh, he he helped like, us out. He well, I had like twelve hundred dollars in my bank. Yeah. He helped, he helped us he helped us uh get a job. He made us stay in a trailer that Oh yeah, he got you a job at the weed shop, right? But then you at, got fired. At, no, no, at a at a vape shop. No, we yeah. quit because we got lit. Okay. Yeah, no, we should yeah, no, I, I couldn't do it anymore. I was only making three hundred dollars a week. And then me, I worked at like a hood corner store. Yeah, like a bodega yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And then I had a whole bunch of people come in and stuff, and stuff like that, but I was still trying to go up and stuff. Uh but I was only making Five hundred a, a week. So then, why'd you dip out on the Chico D? I started making money while I was I was rapping and stuff like that. Well, and he had twenty bands. I had twenty bands. And pe- oh, and, man. and he started peeping that. You feel me? So he he started becoming a he started becoming a hater. Yeah. So he got he got jealous. Yeah. And that's another. You know that, what? I, you that's know another what? point. He says I owe money. I don't yeah, owe him nothing. Shit. He never gave us no money. I never it signed was, no contract to him. On my, on my mother. On my listen. On every music video we pay for directed. We we spent nights uh uh cold nights too because North Carolina's cold. We're from Florida. Look, I, we spent cold nights and everything like that. Look, Studio look. nights. He yeah. was not there. He no. was with his family in the, in the I, house. I re- he just got mad because we. I vanished five months. I'm with my girl. Right. I'm getting money. What's it called? I'm doing my thing. Still rapping. And what's it called? And he's still in this. He's still doing construction. And he's mad. He can't. He can't keep in touch. Yeah, cause, Cause we used to just go to work yeah, every day. Cause you gotta say I yeah. can't. I came from nothing. So when I started making money, he got jealous. He. he I started becoming more cocky. I'm putting his face. I'm like, bro, I could take care of your whole family. Like trying to try, not trying, but basically trying to say I got money like now. So don't try me. You feel me? Right. And he started getting weird. He's like, you think? He's like, you think that's cool that you? That you make money and you can't be humble about it. I'm like, damn, bro, just chill. I'm young, man. I'm making money. He's like, no. Yeah, but bro. it sounds like he took you in when you guys were in. You said you were gonna be homeless, homeless if it wasn't for him at one point, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's one of the most. Uh, he is one of one of the most psycho guys I ever had to deal with. Like, he's not in the right mindset. I feel bad for his kids. I feel out. bad for his baby mama. I feel bad for anybody that lives in the house with him. I feel bad that anybody is associated with him. I feel bad that anybody that that has to call him a friend because the man is to- totally crazy. He's not. He's not. He's not in the right mindset. But- the twins and Chico ended up splitting up as they hired a new guy to become their manager. Their new manager was a guy named Poker the Jew. Poker the Jew went down to Florida and signed an agreement with the twins and instantly went to work making them viral. He also had access to a bunch of exotic and foreign cars which he would allow the twins to use to make videos for their viral TikTok page. The first thing that Poker did was record that video of them in the pool singing about how they're island boys. This is Poker the Jew. Hey Poker. Ex island boys manager. I kind of like gave them like the 6 9 treatment because like they really wanted to become famous. You were his shoddy? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you were Fly Soldier shoddy? Who rented the house? I rented the house. Who no. set up Jake Paul? Who set oh, up Logan Paul? Poker? Who poker set man. up every thing? Poker, Everybody poker they met it. was through poker. me. Poker? poker got it. Who made the fucking music video? Who produced that? You, oh, yeah. you made that shit for the happen. It was your idea. Yeah. Everything was your yeah. idea. You're the one who said get a bunch of girls. You're the one who I'm the me. mastermind. You did that. I'm the fucking island boy. This is where they really started making money, but it's also where things would really start to fall apart. Apparently, once they had blew up and got some money, Chico wanted them to invest in a store he wanted to open, but the boys was basically like, nah, we ain't doing that. This led to a dramatic situation where Kodiak Red got kidnapped by Chico, and it was documented in these videos. Relax, little You know I got bread. Relax. $200. Relax. You a clown, you ain't Show no me gangster neck though. Show me your neck tag. You're not a gangster. I don't care about that. You're not a gangster. You got that neck tag because of me. You like a. You're a wannabe blood. You're a wannabe blood. You got a wannabe blood. You're 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 a wannabe blood. you are a wannabe blood 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 you are you doing all that shit on the camera. You know you wouldn't do that shit in my face. Car, I'll make you slap yourself, boy. Or play yourself, little n- You know why I'll make you slap yourself if you was next to me, you That's why you move. You live at your Come mama's take house. It. Come you take it. Come 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 take it.
own your come house. Take come it. in your house. Come take it. Your f blood. No, bro. I just get money and I can bro. Really? Yes, bro. Who the f is this to you? In my opinion. Yeah. You're mine. Yeah. Yes. And I'm not no gangster. I'm not no f gang member. But you, 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 you play games with me. You not no blood, right? No, you're my big homie. We be doing this oh. together. Y'all heard that? Yeah. Hold. No, we gotta do something. Though. What we gotta do, little dog? We gotta go see and check out. Why? Why though? Why though? Why? Why? Why, little dog? Cause I, Why? Cause I fucked up on the internet and I claimed yeah, something. Yeah, no, say it, say it right, nigga. What you, nigga, nigga? What, what you say? Cause anything could be anything. Yeah, I claimed, I claimed this blood said that that wasn't really what's supposed to be. I'm not doing that, bro, because you owe me money. You owe me a lot of money. Why do you have to pay me, for real? I want to know. I want you to tell me why you haven't paid me, bro. I'm not rich here, though. No, you 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 take care of some. You could have take care of me. I've done more for her than you. To you than her. But I took care of you when you was up doing. Why I haven't got nothing back? Uh. Fly soldier, you hear him? He said. Sound like you, fly soldier. But you a gangster, Fly Soldier, ain't you? <laughs> fly Soldier, you soft, and you know you soft. <laughs> fly Soldier, you hear him? He said, mm -hmm. And it better be recording. It's recording? Let me make sure. Okay, okay, record me. I want you to record me. Look, I got Red 4 Fly. I got Red 4X recording me, y'all. You see that? Watch this. Record me. I'm a real gangster. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got to take you somewhere. Hey, you met my nephew? You met that little? Okay. I'm not saying before. Okay, 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 baby. Okay, baby. Now get a video, get a video, get a video camera, get a video camera. Hey, I'm about to save it. Look how his face gonna turn up. He think I'm fake. Look what's up. Look what's Yo. Do I wait? I can wait for you. I can wait for you. Look. Get a cameraman. Look at him. I can wait for you. I'm gonna wait for you. Come on. Oh, yeah, that real n***a. Uh -huh. Hey, cuz, you know sometimes I fuck it up. I ain't gonna lie, but I love you. I want you to know that, dog. I want you to know that. But I do stupid shit like that sometimes. You know, I'm a real n***a. Hey, you recording me? Am I you recording me? Yeah. All right. Get, get loud so the camera can hear you. You Yo, recording me? Yes. Who are you? You're so right. What you claim in the internet? Uh, my but. But why you doing that? Cause I was put on with someone and, and not. What do you mean you? No, 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 no. Hold on. No. Hey, can I do this? Hold on. Hey, get the camera on him right quick. Nah, no, stop. For don't real. Put him on the camera. Don't, 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 don't do that. Look, look. Stop playing. What's good, my? What's good, huh? What you mean? Bro, 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 can I stay with you, bro? Bro, come on, bro, I can't do this with I'm not in it. I'm not in it. I got handled. Go ahead, I'm gonna let you get a picture with this. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, God. No, f you record. Come on, let him go ahead and do it. What's up, man? Woo! Put me in there. Put me in there so it doesn't try to get recorded. For real. <laughs> Record it. I'm telling you, you got money in there. Right, I'm a real gangster. Fuck out of here. Who you playing, man? I'll die for my shit. I'm for real, cousin. 
I die for my shit. Chico, come here. I die for this. Chico, can I talk to you? No, bro, because I'm tired of your shit. You and your brother, bro. No, call your brother, bro. I'm mad at him, bro. Call your brother. Listen bro. to me. Come here, man. No, call. Kodiak Red tries to explain it like he didn't get kidnapped, probably because of how bad it looks, but he 100% got snatched. And if it wasn't for his escape, who knows how this would have ended. Now, y'all were kidnapped by Bloods? No, not a, not you kidnapped by a guy who was envy of him, um, that he was living in the city in North Carolina for one year. Yeah, I stayed he was, in he was jealous of him. He wasn't kidnapped, by the way. He told him to get inside the car. It was actually a homeboy, yeah. but the homeboy was getting... His, he set me up. He set him up because his family was getting threatened. Apparently, that's what he said. So he took him to apparently blood. So instead of like him taking like... He claimed he was like, 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 he claimed like he was some type of big dog, whatever this that, but he was scared of these bloods, whatever. He was scared for his life because oh, his family was in danger and shit like that. So he wanted me to go and, and show, and show face because. So he can handle so it. So I can handle it because he didn't want to handle it. There was a group of them. And it was, he had like, it was like a group of guys in a barbershop, whatever this that, that were like money murder jokes, whatever this that, like claiming they're Billy or whatever and shit like that. But he put the, he put, he, he didn't kidnap me. He, he just put the truck in child, in child lock. So my ass couldn't even get out the f truck. Did you fear for your life? Did I fear for my life? Yeah, man. F I don't even know where bro was gonna take me. He's drunk as f He's off hella pills. Like he's driving dumb wild. And how did you get away? My ran. He told me I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna come back. He, he was envy, he was jealous and he wanted to hurt him. So this, this was right before, before the viral video. Yeah, I, he was really mad because he wanted me to put. Uh, uh, I told him how much, uh, like how much I had. He was really mad because I told him uh, he wanted me to put twenty thousand dollars into a into a store, and I said I'm not putting on twenty thousand dollars to a store. Chico will go back and forth with them on Instagram live multiple times, but eventually the heat from this situation would die down because Chico was arrested and has been locked up ever since. In addition to this, the relationship with Poker the Jew started to deteriorate as well. Allegedly, they owed him over $150,000 in unpaid fees for his services. And the second I left, that I left, that shit got right down. down. Bye. Ain't no more island. <laughs> no more boys, no more island. Hey, Monty, who made the music video? Who produced that shit? You, oh, yeah. you made that shit motherfucking happen. It was your idea. Yeah. Everything was your yeah. idea. You're the one who said hit a bunch of girls. You're the one who I'm the mastermind. You did that. Island boys. That old shit gonna go. That no. was mastermind. Good. And poker was never paid for everything they never paid did. Nothing. They never nothing. paid the man. They don't pay him. They didn't pay him nothing. This was working for free. That's crazy. Poker had to get on his own. That's yep. crazy. They're the ones that owe me $150,000. But I'm not gonna lose sleep over it, you know why? Not that it's a little money, it's a lot of money. Everybody knows 150 is a lot of money. I'm gonna get my money, it's just a matter of time. So, obviously, they're no longer cool with him. There's a few more key characters in this story as well that they had relationships with that didn't pan out. There's Baby Los, who moved in with the Island Boys and began making content with them. Their relationship ended after they got into a fight and Baby Los fled the scene, resulting in these clips. That shit got broke up. Uh -huh. Red, Red tried to grab, he tried to grab a little fight. So I, 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 I took out, like, I ain't take out fast, but I, like, I, I walked a little down the street. And then they, they, Oh, my mama, y'all, Red was trying to punch me in my God can kill me right now if I'm lying. Hey, y'all. Fly now got the video, y'all. I say, why y'all finna jump? I say, let's get one, and then I can, I can like, after I beat one, I can clean up another one. You feel me? Hey, Juvie, them boys got beat up. You don't got your own strap. I was being red so bad, y'all. This trying to grab my, and then that's when fly, that's when fly tries to uh 
he snuck me and sh then there's Vim, who was apparently one of their friends. This guy has been covered in depth by a bunch of different channels like Famous Criminals, so I'm just gonna scratch the surface on him, but if you're interested, you could go watch some of their videos. Vim was the twins homie who found himself wrapped up in a bunch of stuff online where he was exposing himself flirting with transsexual teenagers and threatening to kill people. I'm gonna tell you how it is. You making up stories, you a friend. Listen, gang, I just gave you my Addy. You a snake. You scared of me. You ain't never did none of this you said, but God, and you know what? Your you know, house, your dad bro. a police your officer. Own, That's why you got you know why I haven't killed you. You know why I haven't killed you? Because your dad's a police officer. I haven't killed you because you're a police officer. Really gonna link up with me. If I come to your daddy house. Oh if I come to your listen, bro, if I come to your daddy's fing job, bro, bro you gonna link with me. I got all your drops, bro. Point that. I got all your drops. I got all your drops. Y'all keep me in the crib, bro. Watch. I'm gonna stay active. I'm gonna stay active with y'all. A promise to the life. All my apps. All my ops gonna die. On Instagram right now is Vum Six K. Follow me on IG. Hey, shorty in the back. DM. No. Follow me right now. The girl in the back. No. Follow me right now. No, she's not gonna follow you. Pass her the phone. No. Pass her the phone. She like 13. I don't know. What the I was 13 like three years ago. I don't know. I feel awkward now. <laughs> Yo. How old is you? Like 16? Yeah. He did this to Chico right here. And Chico, this little 12 year old boy, he did Me. this right here. This 12 year old boy. Oh, so he showed you He showed you his? Yeah. Yep. Showed you it. Oh, Be ready. I'm on live. FaceTime. On, on FaceTime. So he you heard me. It's wants to my friend Cherry and she's under. Ezra <laughs> has like an ongoing feud with like the trans community. Like, yeah, make me make you. I, but your homeboy was trying to. <laughs> right, your friend Vium <laughs> was trying to <laughs> on us though. He said he said whoever gets the pop kitty she is lucky, and she knew she and he knew she was under. Wait, so which one was she yeah, trying yeah. to pop that? Wait, how could he pop your? You have a. You're a guy. The relationship ended in this video where they essentially kick him out of their house. Hey, why'd you just say poker room? Yo, wait, 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 and now I'm videoing. I'm never you. I'm never a video guy. Now I'm video. You're a f you're a f you want to shit about it. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You're a f you want to shit about it. What's up? What's up? What's up? You too. What's up? You too. You too. Yeah. Don't act stupid. 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 Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Y'all trading. You're trading. Talking to poker. Shut that. Poker. I'll kill poker for y'all. You gonna kill? You was just on his lap! You was just on his lap! I was watching this. Bro, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, so quick to leave. Stop. Listen. Because I know y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. Because I know behind it. Y'all wrong. 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 But this wasn't even the worst for the twins. One of their childhood friends, named Andrew Thomas, was found hiding from authorities inside of the Island Boys' rented home after he sh an eight year old. According to TMZ, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office raided the twins' house back in February of 2022. This comes after they pinged their homie Anthony's phone and found out that it was in the vicinity of their house, so they got a search warrant, kicked the door in, where they found him hiding. Neither of the Island Boys were arrested during the raid. However, when the search warrant was executed, one of the twins told police that Thomas had run towards him with the hand when he noticed that the police were arriving, which also had an extended magazine in it. The social media stars went on to claim that they refused a request from Thomas to hide the weapon when SWAT arrived. As a result, he said Thomas went in the laundry room where the was later found in a closet. Authorities arrested Thomas, so basically when SWAT arrived at their house, their friend came to him with the gun that he used to shoot somebody. They refused to help him. He hid it in the laundry room, and when the twins was asked about it, they snitched on him.
so they told on their friend and that pretty much ended that relationship plus the pr around this incident was probably a nightmare the island boys had officially burnt everyone that was around them in their personal life and career wise but that wasn't all that led to the demise of the island boys there was another controversy that didn't look very good on the island boys part when they appeared on the logan paul podcast the two would end up walking out mid-interview after a co-host tried to offer them some basic financial advice leading to this clip boys what if it doesn't work out and now you just got this hair and these face tats i think if god forbid it doesn't go in your guys' direction for real i think you guys take all of your jewelry assets and invest in something so you guys will never ever be broke again George, stop talking. We have multiple. <laughs> Wait, that was. Oh. Yeah. Hey, that was that was nah, for you doing. guys. Yeah, you, you that wasn't like a hate I shot. I don't need. I don't yeah. need financial yeah, advice when I probably make more money than you. you. But that was me being nice. It wasn't okay. me being like an asshole. I could really be an asshole. I could turn it up go, and be an asshole. Why don't you go talk be to somebody asshole, else about that? Go in your favor. But look, no, that, it could go in my favor. Like, you really don't want to go there, bro. I could go there because okay, uh, I was giving you guys nice advice and you guys are being. Hey, George, keep talking. I'm walk out. I'm I'm right here, you guys. Okay. So what are you trying to say? I'm just saying. You guys are throwing a lot of threats. I'm sitting right here. No one's threatening you. Threatening you. you. You guys said it's not going to go my way. Out. Yeah. This I'm, is not the nil, bro, boys. We don't do fake over here. Yeah. What are you, are you trying to scare me or something? I'm not scared of you, huh, man? All right. I'm not scared of you guys either. Okay, so just keep it like that. Feel me? I th I'm going to I'm gonna step in for a hey, second. Just, I, hold on. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Hold on. podcast. No. Here, I'm moving for you. I was giving you nice advice, bro. I agree with that. Did I did I say anything mean? I, you fucked up, George. You you know me from Island Boys, but you know I'm thugging, bro, right? You know that, right? I told you end it already. You haven't ended it. You keep on talking about it. But you just said it's, right now. It's probably because the cameras are still on. Yeah, I already told bro, you to, to show it. up, bro. We're Leave not going alone. alone. Okay, so okay, explain to me what I said. Okay, George, because I was with you in the beginning. Bro, I never stopped with you. Guys. Okay, but George, leave it alone. I leave said what change alone? the subject. Leave it alone. Guys, 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 guys. I don't know if y'all are serious, but... I'm, no, I'm we're, not serious. We're, no. we're, we're done, we're done, we're done. Okay, appreciate it. Oh, Thank God. you. But you guys were good. Thank you guys. Oh, no, hey, actually, that was fantastic. No, you guys were really appreciate good. Appreciate y'all. This is where the problems really started to show. And within months, the two would see everything they had built over the last 12 months basically come crashing down. So after all of the success, all of the failure, and all of the drama, what are the Island Boys left with? Well, not much. Shortly after walking out of the Logan Paul interview, they showed up to the Jake Paul versus Tyler Woodley fight. And when they first entered the arena, the crowd started booing them, making threats, and letting it be known that nobody in the building was rocking with them. They actually ended up being kicked out of the event altogether before it was over. There is also this clip of them performing at Club Live where the crowd booed them off stage after they performed an acapella version of their TikTok hit. People went from laughing at them to being completely annoyed by them. Public perception was starting to sway. And between January 2022 and August of 2022, the Island Boys have lost over 90% of their viewership that they had at their peak. Not only did they ruin their opportunity on Impulsive by walking out, they also burned their bridge with Adam 22 after getting into it with him. Adam said he would never invite them back onto his podcast. They're canceled everywhere. Like, they can't really go outside like that. Right. They're definitely canceled at No Jumper. 
Yeah, they're yeah. um. How they're long were you with why, them? Yo, what did they say to you? They no one heard like, the voice um, messages. They I'm got just mad so curious. I said they were dumb. Yeah. Everybody in this room is a science, yeah. a Harvard graduate compared to those dudes. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they've got to have like a 45 IQ, right? Yeah, Combined. Like, they're out here just blabbering about all the crazy they're just little around. kids, bro. They're just like super immature. How, yeah. wait, how, wait, though, how old are they? Because they're not like that young, right? Well, they like one of them is just turning 21 in oh, like wow. a month. The other ones, I think, yeah, the same age. Right. I'm banging I, IBK. I heard Adam is sanctioned. <laughs> Island Boy Killer, man. It's over. Island Boy Killer. Yo, but, they yo, come but, around here, it's going to be a vigil. It seemed like no matter who tried to help these guys, they always end relationships on a bad note, speaking volumes to the type of individuals they probably are in real life. From the bottom of the trenches to the top of the internet, these two have had a wild story. Keep in mind that all of this we just spoke on took place in under 12 months, and while there may actually be some people that are happy that the Island Boys are seeing a major decline in viewership, it's almost sad to watch because these two brothers have been through it all together. And recently, it came out that they are in fact officially over. Kodiak Red took to Instagram Live where he said that him and Fly Soldier ain't talking no more and that this group is officially over, which means all of the entertainment they provided would bring an end to the relationship in the same fashion it did with all the other relationships. What girl he dates? Just don't let your girl get in between what we got business wise brotherly wise whatever the case might be stop with that weird stuff Someone, someone said you're gonna end up have e not even having friends or your bro found when I was alone when I was alone <laughs> when I was alone that's what created me my guy I hope I didn't waste my my time that's time is more important than money I hope I didn't waste my I hope I didn't waste my time you feel me because at the end of the day I, you know I love him but you know, ever since you know he, ever since you know he, 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 he got with this, this, this little, this little, with a problem. It's not him. I don't. It's not him. I don't have a problem with him. This is. Still Island Boys. Oh yeah. Water? Yeah, yeah, please. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's still Island Boys. I want to be his girlfriend. Hey, stupid. Let me tell you something real quick. Let me explain something to you real quick. But I know how it goes. He don't. He don't really love me. He don't love me like that. So. Nah, we just had a fall. We just had a fallout. We had a fallout. It is. It, <laughs> I did have sleep. We had a fall. We had a fallout. But it's been happening. It's it's been happening a lot though. It's like, uh, uh, you know he. You know he. He got a. He got a. He he got a girlfriend. He don't really look at me like I'm his twin brother no more. That's just it. That's just how it goes. I've been nothing but about someone. I don't do that, especially about no blood. Um, he don't f with me. You know, he, you know, same thing. How you be saying all the time? I don't like you. I hate you. I hate you. I ain't gonna speak on all this all this stuff and stuff like that, but. You know, we fight every single day. He changed for a female, most likely. I'm his twin brother. I'm the one that had his, his back the whole, the, 
the whole entire time. Always did. Had his back on every single time. I'd die for him. I'd take a bullet for him. I'd do anything in the world for him. I'd do anything in the world for him. That's my twin brother. I love him. I, I, you know. Seems like most of it's over a girl and they are brothers and twins so who knows maybe if the girl gets out the way these two will get back to making viral clips but if this turns out to be a long term relationship I highly doubt it and even if it doesn't turn out to be a long term relationship and these two do get back on the internet making clips who knows if they'll ever see that same level of success as far as I can tell this story seems to be over. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. As always, it's been fun rocking with y'all, man. I'm out.